Hi everybody. Questions from caregivers this week are, what do I do about all of the worries that I still have about this virus that's going around? One thing that I've been working on is a program for human resource managers in companies to try to relate to them the importance of support for working caregivers. And I'll talk about that. Stay with me for the caregiving chat of the day. I'm Pamela D. Wilson. My website is PamelaDWilson.com. On there, lots of helpful information for caregivers and aging adults. My weekly radio show, The Caring Generation, which is tonight. It is Wednesday. Tonight, we're going to be talking about the best podcast for caregivers. Make sure that you tune in. Information is on my website, and all of the Caring Generation radio shows upcoming are on my Facebook events page. So just click on that little event tab on the left. You'll see information about all of the upcoming shows. One of the issues with health, of course, is that the fact that numbers don't lie. And many people are realizing that they don't know what their numbers are. What are your numbers? Well, the important numbers for health are your blood pressure, cholesterol, triglycerides, your blood sugar, your body mass, and your weight. And why do we even bother with those? We bother with those because those are the earliest indicators that we as individuals may have a chronic disease in the future. Now, the interesting thing about chronic disease is things that you could have done 20 years ago will result in a chronic disease today. So your habits may not show up immediately, which is part of the issue that we see with our elderly parents. They go through their 50s and 60s and 70s and oh my gosh, they're fine. All of a sudden at the age of age 80, they have a lot of health problems that we as caregivers have to work through. The same goes for us. Habits that we had in our 20s may not show up until our 40s or 50s. At the age of 40 or 50, that's when chronic diseases start to be diagnosed. And if you don't know what a chronic disease is, it is things like high blood pressure, any type of heart disease, COPD, asthma, bronchitis, breathing issues, diabetes, any illness that you take medications for that initially is not that much of a bother but later can turn into a significant issue, which it has for people when we talk about the coronavirus and other illnesses. Older people who have multiple chronic diseases are much more susceptible to the virus. The interesting thing that the research shows is that family caregivers who experience a lot of stress, so chronic stress, not just a little bit of stress, but stress in, day in, day out, week in, month in, year in, about caregiving. You're worried about caring for your spouse or your elderly parent. You're worried about keeping a job and being a caregiver. All of those worries affect the health and the well-being of caregivers very significantly, and this is researched information, I am just not making this up. Caregivers who experience more chronic stress have issues with their immune systems. What we know about the coronavirus is if you have chronic disease and a weak immune system, you are more susceptible to the virus. So not only do we have the elderly parents that we're taking care of, who are more susceptible because they have chronic disease and immune issues, their caregivers have more chronic diseases and more immune issues. Interesting research that I found yesterday, because I'm working on this project for human resource managers, is that people who get the flu shot and who get the recommended pneumonia vaccine every 10 years, so it's people after age 50, People in that group who are caregivers receive the flu vaccination, receive the pneumonia vaccination. Those vaccinations are less successful at warding off those illnesses because of what? Chronic stress, health issues, chronic disease, a weakened immune system. So what does that mean for the future of this virus that we are all hoping it comes out? The vaccination for the coronavirus, 
it means that if you have chronic disease, if you have a poor immune system, if you're a caregiver, chronically stressed, you can get that vaccination. It has a lower likelihood of preventing the coronavirus, or it will. We can relate all of this research to everything that goes on with our health. In this video post, there is a link to an article about human resource challenges and elder care and trying to convince companies that caregiving, that elder care is an important subject that we need to pay attention to now, not two years into the future. I'm Pamela D. Wilson. My website is PamelaDWilson.com. Share this post with everybody that you know, especially your companies, the human resource departments in your companies, so that they can start implementing programs to help caregivers. And those programs really involve a greater awareness of what is involved in caregiving, all of the things that you don't know about that can happen, and plans to help you manage better so that all of these unexpected things that happen aren't surprises, you know that they're going to happen, and you're prepared rather than reacting at the last moment like we all have been to this crazy pandemic. I'm Pamela D. Wilson. I'll see you tomorrow in another video. And Steve Gordon, good morning. Thank you so much for watching.